Vanakam Masashi Parameswaran. Vanakam. Thank you so much for joining us today again. Today, uh, I would like to ask you a question about Bala Tripura Sundri. Um, I remember a few years back, we did in one of your worships, uh, workshops a beautiful uh, worship of Bala Tripura Sundri. And um, two of the girls, our daughter Yogeshwari and Daphne, one of our friend's daughter, they were, all, they were both about eight or ten years old. And we did a worship for them with Bala Tripura Sundri, as Bala Tripura Sundri. Um, can you explain a bit more about Bala Tripura Sindri? She's known as a red goddess. Why is that? Why Bala Tripura Sindri? What's the relationship between Bala Tripura Sindri and Tripura Sindri? And what is her mantra? Okay. Bala Tripura Sindri is known as a red goddess. So is Tripura Sindri and so is um, Bhairavi or Tripura Bhairavi. Okay, Bala Tripura Sindri is the girl that has not bled. And then Tripura Sundari is the one who is bled. And I mean, in a lot of teaching they say that Bhairavi is the one who is stopped, who has got many parts. I don't quite agree with it because there is, when she is with Bhairava, she takes the form of still a woman in relationship, in marriage. The energy between her and Bhairava. So, I like to think that she is the matured woman who is still bleeding compared to what a lot of... You see, scriptures are very funny. They keep changing. Dif different people say different things, but to me, they are... That's basically it. Bala Tripurasundari is the young girl. Tripurasundari is the girl who is already bled. And Bhairavi is uh, the matured woman. Okay. So the three aspects of the goddess. The Tripura, Bala Tripura Sundari is a very powerful mantra. It's sort of a combination of um, uh, Vak, which is um, sort of uh, Matanji, which is Aim. And then you have Sau, which is Shakti. And Klim, that's Kamaraja. So when you take Bala Tripura Sundari as the pure goddess and you also think in terms of uh, sending the sound down to the, to the second chakra, okay, then you talk about sexuality. So why is she connected to that, to your sexuality rather than, you know, pureness of the heart and the, and the mind or the navel chakra where the soul is? But it goes down also to the second chakra. So the, when you're doing a mantra, you got to focus on your third eye, your heart chakra, and your second chakra. So why is she related to also the sexuality and not the pureness, what you're talking about? It's because in, in terms of sexuality, it's only in modern context that we made it vulgar or bad. Sexuality is a beautiful expression of union between the male and female forces to create something new, which is the next generation. So how can it be, how can it be turned vulgar in, in comparison to what the modern society considers? So the purity of the womb is going to bring a good home for a soul to enter. The, the, when the soul, when the womb is filled with a lot of uh, emotion and, and turmoil, then the child also, the soul that enters there, is subjected to that, that emotion. So what happens is this, when it comes out to this world, instead of fulfilling its own journey, it's stuck between the parent's journey and its journey. So then you find that the child has a problem of expressing itself on its own merits. So this is why we need, when we do mantras, we need to be conscious that when you do a mantra, you're not just, you know, singing like a lot of people go, Om, Om, Aim, 
klim sau sau klim aim om. Instead of going that way, you have to go. You got to sit down and say, okay, where do you want the om to go? In my case, I'll say, let's take it to the third eye, because that's where the pineal gland and pituitary gland is, and that also controls your hormonal behavior. This is using the mantra to modern context of the problems we face and the things that we need to balance and which her mantra can balance. Then we go, from there we go, Om. We do that, Om. Then when we do, the next sound we take goes straight down to the second chakra. Kleem Sao We take it between the navel, try to connect the sound to the navel and, and the, the heart chakra. So we go Om I So when I do that, I take the Om to the third eye, I'm, I take it down to my navel and clean down to the second chakra, which for men it's the pubic bone, for women you can take it into the vagina. And then I go back from Sao, from down, then back to clean, and then I'm, and then Om. Om. I'm. Clean. mantra you make sure that after every bija, man, bija sound you take a deep breath so that you can send the sound to as far as you can but you also add energy to the sound so if you do this mantra every day for a lot of women this is a great mantra to do every day until you feel that your discomfort that you have during your moon time is no more there in existence. You feel strong, you feel beautiful during your moon time or your menstrual times. So she, she will help you. Though she does not bleed, her mantra can help women bleed smoothly. So do it every morning and every evening before you go to sleep. And within a short period, you'll find that your cycle will be proper. Thank you for being here. Thank Wanakam. You. Thank you. Wanakam.